fun review coming at you from Nut and Fancy. Thanks for coming along. We are going to talk about something you may or may not have seen coming in the project. A review on pants. That's right, something that will drive right to the heart of your system, whether you're a law enforcement officer, civilian sheepdog, uh, just hanging out, uh, or running and gunning in the desert, even hiking. We're going to talk about a specific brand and type of pants. I'll get to the specifics here in just a sec. As usual, I'll give you a little exposition. Go goes something like this. Uh, for a number of years, I was a L.L. Bean field tester. Uh, under 10 years to be exact. Uh, I loved it and honestly they loved me because uh, I was very thorough in my reviews. While most field testers, you guys are going to be laughing when I tell you this because you're going to say, yeah, I could totally see that. Most field testers write up a page and a half. I'd write up like five pages on whatever they gave me. I mean, I reviewed pants, shirts, Gore-Tex parkas, outdoor gear, backpacks, everything they'd send me. Um, I'd give them the most thorough review I possibly could. And that's because I wanted to do good work for them. Um, I actually am on sabbatical from that because it's just so much work. One review takes me uh, uh, several days actually to write up and I just didn't have the time. But lo and behold, here I am on YouTube doing the same thing. <laughs> but the cool thing about doing it this way is I review exactly the gear I want to. I promote all brands according to what they are and it helps you, my TMP subscribers, to perfect your systems. And I hear about it all the time. I sure appreciate the feedback. These are BDUs, and just about everybody watching that is, uh, you know, outdoors oriented, maybe served in the military, will know what a BDU pant is, and that's what I call it—a pant. A BDU uh, stands for Battle Dress Utility or something like that. It is a military pant that is very usefully designed. This pair you're looking at here has been with me for about 25 years. Uh, I don't wear it anymore because I like other patterns other than woodland, although it's still functional in, you know, woodsy areas. But let's talk about the basic features that makes a BDU pants so useful to all types of activities. Uh, when we're out running and gunning, maybe hunting, generally we're going to have a lot of gear with us. We're going to have cameras, binoculars, you know, knives, uh, you might have a cell phone with you, ammunition, maybe a level one first aid kit all kinds of things you'd like to have with you on your person. You may or may not want to put those things in a backpack. As such, it behooves us to have some pockets, and a BDU does have pockets. You have two side cargo pockets, two deep slant pockets here, and uh, the new ACU pattern, let's see, do I have it? Yeah, I do. Um, has even improved on that. The, this is the old BDU design. This is a pair of Army, U.S. Army, genuine US Army ACUs. Great pants, by the way. Uh, there's that slant pocket, as you can see. Still uh, pretty much unchanged, it's, although they did make it deeper. That was one of the changes. Very nice, because otherwise you lose stuff out of there. I'm going to go as fast as I can, by the way, on this review. But there's so much detail I want to tell you, and it'll drive to the heart of the pants I want to show you, or pant. Uh, BDU pocket here, now with an elastic tie. Um, so you can actually bungee it up. You won't have to put the Velcro closure flap on it so you don't retain the items. So you can just stuff them in there, kind of like a drop pouch. Um, great patterns. You can put foam knee pads, elbow pads in these. You can see there's some foam true spec riding in there now. Drawstring, legs, just like the old BDUs have. So it's an enhanced BDU. Uh, one thing they did away with, with is a metal adjustment buckles. As you can see here on the old BDU, those were a way to gather up loose fabric. I actually liked them, um, but I did find they would come loose and you could tell they were underneath your belt. And I think that's why they got rid of them. They weren't comfortable. So what they have now, at least in these ACUs, official pattern, is a drawstring on the inside of the waistband. Okay. Um, so, nice features. I don't want to spend too much time on the ACU because that's not what this review is about. Um, but going back to the BDU, one of the things that I did not like about it is the fabric. Um, right here you're looking at, if I'm not mistaken, let me double check, I'm telling you right, it's a ripstop, 100% jungle weight fabric on this one. Where's my materials? Yeah, 100% cotton, you can see right there. Um, cotton is not a great outdoor fabric in my opinion. You guys may differ. Uh, I've done a lot of adventuring, both militarily and 
in my own life and out of doors with cotton fabrics and I hate them. Um, they're good for banging around town, maybe, but in the woods they blow. Once they get wet, they stay wet. Um, now cotton on the other hand is very good because near a fire, like a campfire I'm talking, not like a burning building or anything, um, they, they don't melt. So cotton does have an upside. A lot of people find it comfortable against the skin. All that's good. Uh, as years went by, they did upgrade the BDU pattern uh, to a Nyko fabric, and that's what these three color desert BDUs are. This is the same pattern of BDU with the metal adjustment buckles, flap pockets with buttons both on the rump, on the side cargo, same slant pockets, all that's unchanged. Um, the fabric is supposedly upgraded to 50% nylon, 50% cotton, which is an improvement depending on what weave you get. I just want to show you the tag here. You can see, by the way, they have a different um, vendor. This one's made by Virginia Apparel, just depending on who's working the contract at the time. But that's good in that it's not 100% cotton, so if it does get wet, it has a better chance of drying out. But this is a twill pattern. You see that? That's one reason I'm doing this in HD, so you can really see the details. Twill pattern pretty much sucks. Uh, in most of my experience because it doesn't breathe. It's a very heavy fabric. Um, maybe in colder climates it'd be fine, um, but in warmer climates where I generally seem to find myself, especially if you're in an area with high humidity, this twill is suffocating. Not too good. Um, now that ripstop cotton uh, is a better choice for hotter, hotter climates, but the best choice that I have found is this ripstop pattern in 50% cotton, 50% nylon, and that's what this newer Army ACU is. So this is a Nyko fabric in a ripstop pattern. So it's lighter weight fabric, breathes better, and it's still very comfortable. Great job. So the problem with these pants, you could say, well, why don't you just wear ACU pants or BDU pants around wherever you go? You're doing your errands around town, whatnot. Where are these? No, I, I don't, because these scream military. Uh, actually, when you're out of uniform, you don't have rank and stuff off. What they scream to everyone else is survivalist. Okay, When they see someone dressed like this, they go, that guy's a survivalist. And you can't change that perception. You can say, oh, that's all screwed up. They shouldn't think that or whatever. But generally, people will think that because of the media, because of the movies they've seen. So is there a way to get this utility that I've described with the pockets, um, you know, the strength, the utility to carry all your stuff with you in a pant that is just um, as useful? The answer is yes, and here it comes. It is from, of course, our friends at 511. Okay, and here's their catalog from Brigade Quartermaster 511. They have several pants that you guys might find interesting. I gotta cover them because I don't want you to get confused on which pant that personally I think is their best. First off, their authentic 511 tactical pant, they call it. It is a BDU styled pant for the most part. Um, I don't have a pair here, so I'm gonna have to just tell you. So you can see it has cargo pockets. It also has this pocket I'll describe in a little bit. Um, slant pockets, reinforced knees, gusseted crotch, we'll I'll discuss here in a sec. Good pant. The problem with it is it's 100% cotton canvas. That's just like that twill. It is not a breathable set of pants in my opinion. I, I don't think so. Uh, I don't like 100% cotton also for the moisture problem. Okay, and then they have another one. Where did it go? I think right here. The TDU pant. Don't get confused with this one either. This is a good pant. It's 65% polyester, 35% cotton, which is an outstanding blend. It's a 7.5 ounce ripstop fabric, just like the ACU one I showed you, except I think it lacks some of the pocket features that I want to discuss with you. It has cargo and slant pockets only. It doesn't have the upgraded pockets. The absolute best one that I'm, I recommend, and that's the point of this whole video, I had to kind of give you the features though, because you have to know why, is this pant right here. The Tactical 511 Tac Light Pro Pant. Uh, make sure I'm telling you right. Tack like TDU pan is what it's called. One of the reasons it's awesome is because of the fabric. Just like I said or just a second ago, I got to get Allie's hair off there. It's like everywhere. 65% um, 
polyester, 35% cotton. It's durable, it's comfortable, it breathes. After having spent hundreds and hundreds of hours in these pants, as you've seen in the Nut and Fancy project, doing all the stuff that we do in the project, I can tell you they are my favorite ever all around tactical pants. And there's lots of reasons why. First off, like I said, the fabric is outstanding. And notice it's that ripstop. The same thing we saw in the ACUs, and it's even better. I say better because it has a higher content of synthetic in it. Um, I want to get rid of cotton as much as I can to a point. I have worn 100% nylon pants from Ella Bean, and they're outstanding. They're Timberledge pants, which I showed you in my extended state backpacking videos. Great, great, great pants. I love them. 100% nylon. Uh, and they work great. Uh, not great next to the fire. They'll melt on you. Um, but these still have a small percentage of cotton in it. Some people really dig it. I would kind of like to see even a higher percentage of polyester in the years to come. Another reason the TDU, uh, the TAC light pants from 511 are just awesome is because of the arrangement of the pockets. Let's start up here. Here's your slant pocket and look right there, knife lovers. You see that? That is a reinforced bar tacked knife uh, reinforcement thing for your clips. If you want to carry your knife, here we go with the Lone Wolf Longhorn. If you want to carry your knife in that pocket, you can. And it's reinforced so it doesn't shred. Now, you non-knife guys will be watching this going, ah, that doesn't happen. <laughs> oh, yeah? Uh, let me roll into this. Here's a pair of my pants. Um, these are shorts that I wear a lot. These, by the way, are 100% nylon, very comfortable. And look at that pocket. Yeah, uh, that's just from carrying clipped blades to the edge of that pocket. And it finally just said, uncle, I can have no more. It wears and tears your pockets. And I incorporate that in my reviews, like some of those Cold, Cold Steel Voyagers that have that rough under the clip surfacing. That's what it does. There you have it. There's proof positive for me, nothing fancy. But now that's a reinforced pocket. But that is not where I suggest you carry your pocket on your tack light pants. They have a dedicated knife pocket right there below the right slant pocket. Look at that. This is one of the reasons I just absolutely adore these pants. Um, it, and it can take some very large tactical folders or folding knives. For instance, here comes a cold steel pocket Bushman still undergoing testing in the Nut and Fancy project. You'll see more of it. But check this out, dudes. Oh, how sweet is that? How many pairs of pants do you know that can make your cold steel pocket Bushman become invisible? Basically none. If you want to use the clip, go ahead. There you go. And it has a strong lip on it. Maybe not quite as reinforced as that other pocket. But it is a dedicated, in my opinion, knife pocket. Awesome. You can fit a very large knife in there. Pretty much any knife you have will clip nicely there. I have a 710 running around here somewhere. Lost it, I'll find it. Great choice. Also, the cargo pockets are still there. Now, we don't have the pull cord bungee that we saw in the ACUs that I just showed you. But you know what you're doing is you're making a compromise. These are not a full, in my opinion, a full-on military pant. Um, a full-on military pant says, you know what, the heck with fashion, the heck with looking tactical or warlike, kind of like the Army ACUs and other types of camo clothing in the U.S. military at least, we're just going to put it on because it's functional. We're going for functionality. We're not going for fashion. What's nice about the Tac Light Pros, I keep saying Pro, the Tac Light Pants, uh, is that they have a good blend of features. In other words, the, the cargo pocket is still there. Not quite as deep, I notice, as a military BDU or ACU, but still very functional, and it's Velcroed without buttons on it. And I like that. I think for an all-around tactical pant, that is an excellent choice because it makes that pocket very streamlined, so it's not grabbing on stuff. Uh, this is an around-town pant, maybe uh, an officer's pant as he's on duty or she's on duty. Great choice. So good job on the pockets all around. On the back, we also have a, re this is a back slant pocket. So this is a departure from the ACU design because we don't have the flap pockets in the back. We have another slant pocket, Velcro retention, and also, again, the reinforcement tab there if you want to put your knife back there. And I know a lot of officers do that, that I shoot with. They'll carry their knives in the back pocket. Now this is kind of a painter's loop. 
Uh, to my best of my knowledge, I never use this. To the best of my knowledge, I think it's designed to tuck your uh, tactical carbine into when you're running. I, I, honestly, I don't know, and nor do they describe what it's for 511, but uh, it's, I, maybe I'd, uh, I have something to learn about it, but I don't use that. That, by the way, is 100% cotton, so if it gets wet, it will stay wet. Now, with that cotton percentage in here, 35% to be exact, I have found out in my snow hiking, let me roll some other colors in here while I'm blabbering. In my snow hiking, I have found that uh, these pants will stay wet, even though they have 65% polyester. And that is pretty much on par with all the other field testing I've done. Anytime you have cotton in the mix, it's gonna stay wet at least in a cold, wet environment. Hot and sunny, yeah, it'll dry out, no problem. If you buy Taclite pants from 511, uh, at least as of 2009, a lot of them were coming with this very cool and very functional belt. They call it the TDU belt. And, well, that's it right there. It's just nothing more than a BDU belt with a nylon buckle, and I love it. It is strong enough if you have it cinched up to hold your weapon. Um, look around if you decide to order these ask if it comes with a TDU belt I, it is a limited time offer I don't think it's going to go on forever uh, as you can see the tag that this pair came with bragged about it free TDU belt normally this is going to be about ten to fifteen dollars by itself so it's good to get it and the cool thing is it's usually color matched with whatever pair you end up buying so here's a black pair of TDUs uh, the tack lights and you can see black very cool. And it does come in some very good colors. Let's take a look-see at that. There's those colors of the belts right there. And there's the colors you can get them in. So you have the coyote brown, olive drab green, the sand color. They call it a khaki, tundra, dark navy black. All of them are good. All of them. And you've seen a lot of those colors in front of the camera here in the Nut and Fancy Project. Uh, straight out, one of my favorite, favorite pairs of pants that I've ever had. Uh, I was going to tell you about the gusseted crotch. What is a gusseted crotch and why do you need it? Um, getting back to my field testing days, you want freedom of movement in your pants, especially an active wear pant like this. What a gusseted crotch is, if we turn this pant upside down, we can see a triangular section of fabric sewn in the crotch. Yeah, keep laughing. Um, what this does, it gives you mobility. Uh, so instead of bunching up down there and as you go into your different firing positions, for instance, or maybe you're doing some defensive tactics, maybe even martial arts, you're leg lifting, doing some kicks. When this comes up, this just gives you some more mobility in your legs and your bottom torso when you have a gusseted crotch. Look for that, that's a great feature. While we're here, it's a great time to examine the high quality stitching that 511 does. Double row stitching, straight, clean. They tell us it's bar tack like what they say in 48 different areas high stress areas and also reinforced in the seat knees. Now you can't put um, you know your neoprene elbow and knee pads in here but to be honest with you I don't like those anyhow they just make me sweat. I'd rather put on my Alta brand knee pads. By the way guys those are the best knee pads around. I'll make a separate video. Um, so just you know the the reinforcement that it has is adequate. Also reinforced double fabric layer in the butt area. God these pants just rock. 511 just... does make a shorts version of the Taclite Pro Pant, and I guess that was the right name. I've seen it referred to as Taclite TDU Pant or Taclite Pro Pant as it does in this catalog. This is a different catalog. Just look for the word Taclite. That's what it is, the 511 Taclite Pants. This is a shorts version, 100% nylon. Again, I think the nylon is a better choice in the POU of this pant, as you can see the tag there. That means it's going to dry out more readily than the other one that has cotton in it but you can see the same pocket configuration oh and I forgot to mention this that's your cell phone pocket so you take your phone you don't have to put it in your top pocket in your bottom pocket wherever it's right in front bam isn't that nice a dedicated cell phone pocket and as you can see my cell phone's not overly small so it takes it just fine and in my experience that's a great place to have it I've never busted my cell phone with it riding in that pocket um, it's just done fine
great. So the knife, dedicated knife pocket, dedicated cell phone pocket, um, except the short, sorry, I have to be honest with you, they do not have that dedicated knife pocket. At least this version doesn't. All the other pockets are the same, but they don't. Um, but if you're looking for a pair of shorts, you're willing to give up the knife pocket, go for it. For me, I generally will stick with the long Tac Light Pros. Couple of other features of the Tac Light Pro pants that I gotta cover. Teflon coated, the fabric is. Uh, supposedly kind of like Scotch Guard, where it will repel stains. Um, I've used this OD set uh, a lot. As you can tell, it doesn't really work. Uh, generally, that stuff is more hype than, it, see, you see one there, I don't even know what that is, grease or whatever. Um, this stuff is kind of like DWR, durable water repellent uh, coating on fabrics. It's good when the fabric is brand new. After it's been washed a couple times, like this fabric, uh, it diminishes in, eff in effectiveness. That's just the way it is. Uh, technology may change out in the future. That's the way it is now in 2009. By the way, when you wash these, to retain their colors and also for all of your camouflage clothing or any color clothing you care about that can fade. And as you can see, even with my care, this OD set of tack lights has started to fade. You can see in the stitching area there. Um, wash it in cold water and wash it with wool light and turn it inside out when you wash it. So pull when you wash it. So pull your pants inside out, wash it, and that way you're doing the absolute best you can in color retention. Um, now if you're looking for a faded look, then go for it. Uh, me, I'm trying to retain the tactical color as long as I can. OD or the subdued colors. Also, brass D-ring right here. I don't know if I mentioned that. You can clip in a lanyard to whatever, maybe your your knife there. Uh, I don't use this feature. Some guys might, uh, I don't. Uh, looking inside the waistband, we see, and this is one reason I covered those BDU pants to compare and contrast, we don't have any drawstring and we don't have a metal take up tab on the side. Instead, we have what 511 calls an action waist, and I think it's better than both the other designs. It's an elastic gathering that allows some flexibility in sizing as you go up or down a size, you know what I'm saying? Um, so nice, and it makes it more comfortable. So a lot with the gusset across, semi-elastic waist, it stretches and moves with you. Well done, I love that. The legs, I didn't mention this, don't have drawstrings. But again, remember, this is an overall daily wear pant. It's not designed as a full-on military set of pants. You wanna go to war, do that, grab your ACUs, uh, or you know your BDUs and whatnot, and you know, have at it. But overall, I will say the 511 Tack Light Pro pan is the best pan I have seen in a long, long time. And I've been wearing it for uh, coming up on a year now, daily. Not just in the running guns, but this pan is so low key and it doesn't draw attention. Um, it's, uh, it's, it gives you pretty much all the functionality of BDUs, ACUs in a very low profile way, but also in a low profile color because I think all the colors that it's offered in, both this Coyote Brown, the green, the tactical green, are very efficient out there. They're not as good as a camel pattern, uh, but not too far off. So uh, right at the heart of your system, believe it or not, is the pair of pants that you choose to wear. I know some guys say, you know what, I've never be caught dead in those. I look like a police officer or whatever. Uh, I understand that. And, you know, guys will wear jeans. Uh, but also I see a lot of guys with jeans that look like, you know, a squirrel coming back from the f field with their pockets jammed full, all their crap, their wallet, their keys, their lights their knives, and it's, it's just ridiculous. Get a pant like this, where you can organize your system, there's that word again, and whatever you, your activity is that day, maybe you're a police officer at the range, maybe you're a civilian sheepdog doing the rounds in the neighborhood, nothing wrong with that, uh, in WROL, you know, there's a lot of gear that you may just want to take with you. And some of that you want ready for immediate use, not later use, but immediate use. And a pant like the Tactical or the Tac Light Pro pants from 511 give you that option. What a great pant. There's my review. Check it out. By the way, these are going to run you around 40 bucks. I wish they were cheaper, and I've looked around and have not found it for much cheaper than that. So I apologize. I um, wish they were cheaper. They're not. But they'll last you. Mine sure have me. Nothing fancy signing off. Yes with a review on a pair of pants? You betcha, we're all about systems and crap that works and fancy out.